what's up guys it's valentine's day i figured we show some love to fox here um we got our electric fans from mishimoto and i was able to find an aluminum radiator for the hard body it's not a 240 part that is a 240 part electric fans but uh that is a hard body aluminum radiator and i'm gonna unbox it right now Well, it's raining right now, so I don't know how far we're gonna get on this, but hopefully we can get the unboxing done. Uh, It is cold. I prefer the summer months personally. Hell yeah. So tranny cooler lines, I don't need those. We got a manual transmission. Ship with care just for you. All right, so right off the bat, it's the 240 electric fans with the hard body aluminum radiator, and you can kind of see that it doesn't really line up. So I'm gonna, I can't do this with one hand. There you go, so, like it fits. So as you can see, you got one lined up and then you got this one messed up so i'm probably gonna cut one of these off and then just move it over and then it's got tabs on the bottom here but i'm probably just gonna move them to the side over here so then we can just anchor it to the side of the radiator i think that'll be a better idea than trying to make these bottom tabs work so yeah so i'm gonna we're gonna chop these off chop off these tabs so decided to take the fans out um i cut off all four of the tabs um i reused the top ones i put them down here and we'll run a bolt through there i'll drill the hole and then i made these new tabs up here and now i'm just gonna weld everything up and then we can install it on the truck and here's our new fan shroud look at my shitty welds <laughs> it's all right Ew. Now it's a complete unit. We got fresh hardware up front, up top, hardware on the bottom. And then I reused these uh, grommets from the original radiator. So that should fit nicely. Let's go install it. Check it out, boy. So it uses the factory uh, mounting points here for the hard body. 
obviously it's a hard body radiator and everything fits perfectly you got plenty of clearance between the engine and the fans nothing's gonna touch now i just gotta wire it up and call it good um put the hoses on of course okay it looks super fresh picked up this uh mishimoto electric fan controller just gonna use this to wire it up just gonna use this diagram they gave us pretty self-explanatory should be easy got the fan controller just thrown in the mix um need to get a, a ring terminal for the battery and then um we got our temperature probe here when the radiator hits 150 degrees that's when the fans will come on um got our radiator hoses back on hoses back on overflow tanks back on and yeah dude, it looks pretty sweet uh don't think those will hit but uh yeah it's all pretty much done looking sweet and i'm excited about it we'll fill it up uh when i get closer to start up uh lastly i want to try and get this painted door on uh just to have more painted parts on it's just sitting here in the sun so might as well try and get it on here hell yeah boys that looks great the painting lines match up and the the door gapping is pretty good on tyson and i just put the red um door panel back on <laughs> and then yeah it looks good i'm gonna leave this video here well i got a uh, more uh cold side turbo parts on the way so that'll be my next video hopefully i can start filming this week but uh yeah like comment subscribe uh, see you guys on the next one